According to Matt, this is the only building that's covered by water on every side. Three sides, Taylor. Or on three, three sides. sides, sorry. <laughs> Dolomites today, and as you can see, it is incredible. We are in Cicada or at Cicada, and oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable! It's so stunning. got severely stuck in like this storm it was actually quite intense but now it's like completely cleared up and it's sunny so <laughs> what a interesting climate tips at, at the end of this video in case you need it because 
it is not like I don't know if maybe it's not as well traveled as the rest of Italy but it's just not very like well documented on the internet on how to get around especially without a car so I will definitely give some helpful tips at the end if everything goes smoothly today but yeah it's about 8.45 in the morning we got up at like 6 but we should get to a lot of I love traveling by train. You just get to see so much of the countryside. I feel like it's my favorite way to travel. Today we are staying in Milan and we just took the train from Milan to Lake Como and then we took a funicular up to like the top I guess. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I think after seeing like Lago di Brais and like the Dolomites and stuff it really doesn't compare. <laughs> um, but yeah it's so really, it's pretty. I love the scenery. <laughs> Give me a smile. I've just had the realization that it's our last night in Italy and I'm feeling so sad about it. I've dreamt of coming to Italy for years and years and years and this is it. We spent the day in Verena, um, Lake Como, so it was a beautiful way to spend the last day. Very chill, just walked around, got some things to eat, and then took the train home, or home, back to Milan um, where we're staying. But yeah, I just can't believe that we're leaving Italy. Um, this is our last night. It's been such a wonderful time. We're headed to Switzerland tomorrow. I'm really excited about this next, I guess, part of our trip. The first part was very like coastal, beachy, you know, very typical European summer. And this is gonna be really amazing as well, I'm sure, but more like, I don't know, a little bit different. So yeah, we're heading to Switzerland tomorrow. And so I guess I'll make a whole video on Switzerland. Um, I wanted to touch on the Dolomites. If you're planning a trip to the Dolomites, I recommend having like a home base. We had our home base in Bolzano. We took the train from Venice to Bolzano and then we stayed in Bolzano for four nights, I believe. And we went to um, Ceceda, 
for Ortiz. I'll put them on the screen right now. So we just did like, uh, we took the bus from Bolzano to Sacheda and then the next day we did, took the train from Bolzano to like back Brazil, Brazo. I'll put it here. I'm probably like my brain is mush. So um, we've been to so many places. <laughs> but I'll put all like the information here so you guys can see. But that's my recommendation. It worked really, really easy. If you have any problems, just go to the bus station or the train station and people there will help you, give you maps, whatever you need. Um, it was especially good for us because we had the year rail, so we didn't have to pay for any of the trains, which is really nice. And yeah, that's my my little recommendations. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. But yeah, thanks for watching this last Italy vlog. So sad. I'll see you in this one's one vlog. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok um, for live updates and subscribe for more content. Bye, guys.